Recordings will be posted. Slides uh, will be posted. Uh, Anis, if you could stand up for a second. That fine gentleman, his name is Anis. He's wearing a red hat, red shirt, appropriately. So if you have slides and you were tinkering with it or you haven't sent it to us, please see him. He has a whole bunch of very clean, nice, clean, brand new USB sticks. And we'll transfer it to his computer and we'll run it from there. Bathrooms are right behind us. So right there. Um, and for the dinner, we're going to start with the hors d'oeuvres at 6 p.m. and uh, dinner at 7. And that's also to enhance community interactions and talking to each other, et cetera. So thank you for doing that. And we also have a special thing coming. We have a virtual reality roller coaster coming. Let's see how it works out. But we have requested that to come in also. So I haven't tried it myself. I really hope it works out. I'm looking forward to it. So if you see anybody with this green tag badge, the green one says host. So we are here to help you out. So uh, we have attendees, we have speakers, and we have a whole bunch of people running around with this green badge host. So if you need anything, feel free to ask. We will be uh, very uh, is volunteer driven so please requesting everybody's patience a little bit we have uh, a lot of people who helped out and they helped out without compromising their day jobs so we just need everybody to cooperate and I think we're gonna have very good two days so this room is the live room as you can see there is an overflow room right there as well across the hallway, like 10 feet from here. So that one is more conducive for discussions and if somebody wants to check their emails, et cetera, maybe we can have people over there. But this room is the lively live event thing and the sound does carry. So there are mics which do carry the sound as well. We'll try to accommodate people with the mics. So this room, uh, we are just requesting everybody's attention to the speaker. If you want more conversations, et cetera, maybe that room would be better. Question answers will be answered also for the people who are joining from across the world through blue jeans. We'll try to accommodate your questions as well. And um, so I just wanted to thank a whole bunch of volunteers who helped out, uh, particularly Anis, Aaron, Fouad from the GWS team, Donna, Brian, Scotty, and Veronica and Jennifer. If we could just take a pause and give them a, a round of applause, I think they'll appreciate it. So all these people, as I said earlier, did not miss a beat on their day jobs and helped organize this event as well. So let's, Anis is sitting right here, so let me give him his example. He is, uh, his day job is CICD. So he does CICD for Red Hat and for our team, but he's helping out with all the AV and everything as well. Also, another round of applause for our sponsors, of course. So DigitalOcean, Red Hat, Intel, VMware, and Mellanox are our sponsors. Many thanks to all those nice sponsors. This event was possible because of your sponsorship. Thank you very much. So people were asking me off and on, like, okay, if it's on Red Hat's site, what is the, what is the, what, why are we you charging for registration and sponsorship? Red Hat is not making my, any money out of this conference. As a matter of fact, Red Hat is a sponsor funding it. Uh, so registrations and sponsorship, we got about $20,000 and food and uh, swag and everything. That is what's taking the lion's share of the expenses. So just wanted to put a slide. I'm not going to spend many time, much time on this, but if you want, we can talk about more as well. So with that final logistical stuff, I'm going to pass it over to our usual MC, Ben. All right. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Rashid. Um, I, I know that uh, you've you've seemed a, a fairly anxious about everything. That's uh, uh, I, I think you you must not organize many things like this, but that's really natural. Thank you so much for uh, for volunteering your time and the time of your team. And uh, this this is a, a, a lovely uh, lovely room and, and facility, and I think it's going to work out just great. Thank you. All right, uh, so uh, a, a few more form formalities before we uh, jump into the fun part, the talks. 
Um, first of all, um, we've, I, we've never, to my knowledge, had a problem uh, with, uh, uh, w with people treating each other well at, uh, at the OVS conference, and let's not start. So treat everybody with, with respect. Um, and if, uh, if, if there are any issues, uh, talk to one of us. We'll get it resolved. Tech issues, on the other hand. Um, oh, there we go. Okay. Um, I wonder if I skipped a slide. Uh, nope. All right. So uh, one of the things uh, for speakers to note is that there is quite a bit of delay uh, between advancing the slide and the slide actually advancing. And that's because this, this laptop here is not the one running the show. This is just a client. Um, Anise over there, uh, the laptop he has, is actually running the show. So uh, when you push the button, you may need a, a fair amount of, of patience. Uh, so uh, one, of the, uh, one of the notes uh, for this year is that the, the Open vSwitch and OVN projects are, are now uh, separated in a, a more formal manner. Um, so I was talking to Justin last night, and it sounds like maybe it isn't quite as final as I thought. So uh, maybe, the, uh, maybe the answer is that they will be fully uh, separated as of, say, a week or two from now. Uh, but, but this is uh, largely correct. So uh, Open vSwitch became a Linux Foundation collaborative project back in 2014, 15, a, a few years ago. Uh, and uh, now we're, uh, we're formalizing that, that same thing uh, for OVN. Uh, OVN was initially uh, part of the OVS project, and its code was part of the OVS repo. Uh, we have successfully uh, separated the repos, and that is... Uh, largely uh, to the uh, um, uh, lar uh, largely due to the efforts of some folks at Red Hat, uh, and uh, I uh, I want to say thank you for that. Um, OVN from the beginning was not intended to be part of OVS for the long term, and uh, we've uh, we we finally uh, finished that uh, separation in technical terms. Uh, we've set up independent governance uh, for OVN uh, in a similar manner to OVS. Um, and we have a separate committer list, although there is certainly some overlap. Um, the next official release of OVS, uh, which will probably be numbered 2.13 and will probably come out uh, early next year, uh, will, will not include OVN. Uh, instead, uh, OVN will be uh, released separately on an independent schedule. Uh, OVN is still part of older releases of, of OVS, and most notably 2.12. And if there are bug fixes that affect uh, those older releases, we will get those backported, and, and that has been uh, in, in progress, so it's, it's working out pretty well. So uh, there are, are some uh, aspects of the separation that are uh, still to come, and, uh, and we're, we're not certain exactly how those uh, will happen or when. Uh, but currently, we're still using the OVS mailing lists uh, for OVN as well. Um, perhaps we'll create separate ones. Uh, we. Uh, We'll probably set up a separate OVN.org website. We do own the OVN.org uh, domain name. Uh, currently, if you go there, you just get a giant OVN logo. Uh, it would be great if there are volunteers who would like to set up a, uh, a proper OVN website. Um, and I don't know, possibly we'd want a separate conference, but that's definitely up for discussion as well. All right, uh, just wanted to make sure everybody was uh, sort of uh, up to date on uh, that, uh, that separation there. All right, uh, so this is one of my favorite slides every year. So uh, this is a, a, a very uh, unofficial membership, um, uh, what I call the Open vSwitch Hall of Fame. And by that, I mean uh, anybody who's contributed at least 10 uh, commits to OVS or uh, OVS or OVN now. Um, so uh, let's, uh, um, let, let's read the list and, and uh, just send out happy thoughts uh, to all those people who last year had not contributed that many, and now they have, um, with a, uh, an asterisk for root. Um, uh, let, let's try to be careful about uh, giving the, uh, uh, the, the correct authorship information. Uh, anyway, uh, let's have a round of applause for all of these, uh, these new people. All right, uh, thank you very much. OK, so uh, this is what's going on today. Uh, and uh, if you want the, the full schedule with details at any time, you can go to ovscon.site, uh, where I invested 99 cents uh, in, a, uh, in that domain name uh, with a forwarder. 
So uh, you don't have to remember uh, how to uh, get to the, uh, to the schedule. It will take you right there. Uh, that also has the information for how to join online if uh, by any chance uh, you want to uh, follow along on your laptop. So uh, we have several sessions of talks, and we're going to launch right into that after, uh, um, after, this, uh, um, after I'm done talking here. Uh, so uh, session one, uh, and then we'll have a 15-minute break. We'll have a second session of talks, uh, and, and then we'll have lunch. And uh, you can see that, uh, um, that I've very precisely timed all these things out to the minute. Uh, timing is probably the hardest part of running a conference. So uh, when, uh, when, you've got, when you're doing your talks, um, I'm going to have a, uh, a, a timer here uh, that uh, will be visible to the speaker. And uh, let's, let's just try to, uh, uh, to keep to that. Um, if, uh, if, if you're in one of the, the seven-minute sessions, uh, you may not uh, have uh, time for, uh, for questions at all. Um, but if there's uh, still time on the timer at the end, uh, then we can certainly take them. Uh, in one of the 25-minute sessions, I'd, I'd ask the speakers, try to leave about five minutes at the end for questions. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, it looks like there's, like I must have screwed up transferring this under the schedule because it, it says lightning talks, but uh, this year it's a little different actually. In the past we've had separate lightning talks uh, sessions. This year uh, we have about the same number of full length talks and lightning talks, so they're, they're actually mixed together. Um, most of our sessions will have two lightning talks of seven minutes uh, each, followed by two full length talks of 25 minutes each. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the other notable thing here is that uh, um, after our closing at about 5 o'clock, uh, we, uh, we will have a, a dinner and, uh, uh, and other activities in the evening. So I hope that uh, uh, all or, or most of you can, can stay for that. Okay. Uh, so Rashid covered most of this already, uh, but uh, in case you, uh, you stepped in a little late, uh, if, if you're speaking, uh, please uh, speak to Anise um, uh, at the, the break before your session, and uh, uh, he will make sure that he has your slides uh, and uh, perhaps uh, give you some other tips as well. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you do need to use your own laptop, which uh, we'd prefer you, you didn't if you can avoid it, um, then you, you definitely need to, t uh, to talk to uh, Anise. Um, let's see. I mentioned the... Uh, um, the, the, time, the timer, um, there is a slide advance remote up here. Uh, don't run off with it. Uh, so I'm not going to read this off, but this is a, a, a history of the OVS conference. So uh, we started off with a couple of uh, fairly small hackathons. Um, the, the, the one where we realized that there might be some interest for uh, in a, a bigger conference was the uh, the second hackathon in 2014 that we had at the, uh, the Cisco offices in San Jose. Um, we, we planned it as a hackathon uh, to have people show up and, and build things uh, together in person. Uh, but actually, lots of people showed up who weren't developers but were still interested in OVS. And so we, we very quickly uh, organized some, uh, some informal talks and uh, put those out uh, via WebEx. And uh, that, that really convinced us that there was, uh, you might say, a market for, uh, for, for people to, uh, to, to listen to talks about OVS. So uh, the, uh, later that year, uh, we did something that was uh, more of a formal conference. Um, I remember uh, uh, pitching it uh, to, uh, to Martine, uh, who was the, um, the, the GM uh, at VMware for networking at the time. Uh, and, uh, and he said, uh, go for it. Um, and uh, later on, he, he told me that he was expecting a, a few geeks and some pizza. Um, but in, in fact, uh, we had uh, 300 people sign up for it and, and show up to VMware. Um, I got close to getting into trouble for that because uh, um, uh, I, I found out far too late that if you were going to organize something like that, it was supposed to be uh, over half VMware people. Uh, and uh, we, we had <laughs> mostly external people. Um, but the, uh, the people in charge just, just asked me, uh, is it more than half VMware people? And I said, well, there's a lot of VMware people, uh, which was true, and they didn't press it. And then uh, since then, uh, we've, uh, 
Uh, we've had bigger events uh, in, in San Jose. This year, I couldn't get VMware to sponsor it uh, to the same extent as, uh, as before, and I'm uh, very happy that uh, Rashid and Red Hat uh, uh, stepped up uh, to uh, do the event here. Uh, thank you. Okay, um, here's the list of the, the program committee for this year. Um, and we, uh, we have a, a number of new people and we have a number of returning people. Um, and again, I wanna say thank you to everyone on the program committee for putting in the time uh, uh, helping uh, to select the, the talks. Um, we were able to accept most of the talk submissions this year, uh, which is great. Uh, and finally, um, I haven't uh, done uh, new episodes in the last few months, uh, but I do have a podcast about OVS. I call it OVS Orbit. Uh, you can get to it at ovsorbit.org, um, and it's available through all of the, the usual uh, podcast services. Um, if you would like to uh, propose an episode, uh, just talk to me. And that's my uh, entire opening spiel. Let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, we're doing great on time. Um, if anybody has any questions about how we're running the conference, um, uh, please uh, feel free to speak up. Um, any questions? Do we have any online? All right, then I think we will uh, dive right into our first talk then. Um,